Well, I, I, first of all, we fought. Um, we got the game down to a, a 17 point game, and it was unfortunately we let them get that first touchdown of the second half because that really would have made a huge difference. But um, our kids never stopped competing. Josh never stopped competing. Um, from an offensive standpoint, there was too much pressure on the quarterback. They did a great job of twisting and, and putting their guys in great position. And um, we didn't do a great job of protecting them. So, Coach, um, like you were saying, Coco played really hard tonight I'm down to the last whistle. What can you say about his effort going forward and how he's going to leave your team going forward? Well, I think that our players see how much effort he puts into it. They see how hard he works, and they know that he's a, he's a warrior, you know, and, and I think people rally around that. And, and this is it's really tough when you've got a talented young man and, and he's under pressure the entire game and, you know, we're, we're not doing any favors because we can't run the football very well at this point consistently. Um, but I think for, for a football team, they, they will rally behind him. And then before I go to Jack, I just wanted to mention a couple players on the defense. Drake Reed, Darian Tips. Clemens and Anale, the freshmen, they were all flying around the field. They were all in the top four and tackled on your team. What can you say about their effort tonight? Well, first of all, Drake Reed has such a tremendous weight on his shoulders because all of our safeties are injured. Our top three safeties are injured. And, and he's the only veteran corner. He's playing with a freshman corner on the other side and really a couple freshman fourth and fifth safeties. Um, so. He just, you know, he's a warrior. He, 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 he battles, he doesn't complain, he helps coach every position back there. So he's done a great job. Tips Clemens is playing in one hand. He's got a cast on his hand. He can't even use, his, that, that, use that hand. Um, and he's in a lot of pain. Uh, but Tips Clemens is also a warrior. He's a tough kid. And, um, you know, we knew that if he had one arm, he's going to go and fight like hell with it, one, one arm. Um, the, the last one you talked about was Cheedy. Um, what you probably didn't see was Cheedy was on our kickoff team, and he was by far the fastest guy down the field, like 10 yards ahead of everybody else. And that's how he plays, like his hair is on fire. He just plays and plays and plays, and, and you, you can't help but love the guy. But he's a freshman who was basically a linebacker DN in high, high school. Now he's a safety. Um, that's a big transition, and, and again, because of injury, he has to go and play. I would love to be able to redshirt him because he's going to be one of the best players in the league. Josh, you made um, passes to at least five receivers tonight. What does it mean to you to spread the ball around and keep leading your team down the field? Um, I mean, honestly, it means a lot, but you got to put it in the end zone. Like, I'm. I love sharing the love with all the guys. I love all my receivers, all my targets. Love them all. Uh, if it was up to me, they'd all get the ball 20 times a game. But you know, in the end, we uh, we gotta finish ours. We gotta get in the end zone. So honestly, none of it really matters. You use your feet to make a lot of plays tonight, whether that was throwing the ball or running the ball. What does it mean to use every aspect of your game to try to lead your team back to a win, like you did try tonight? Um. Uh, I guess it it means a, a lot. I guess uh, just wish I could have done more. You know, just not easy losing. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Just not easy. So you know what? Whatever I did doesn't matter. The scoreboard says it all, and it doesn't really matter what any individual did at all. You guys get to obviously play Grand Valley again. What is it? it it's a rare circumstance, but how does it feel knowing that you kind of get to watch this tape and, and see them one more time down the road? Well, I think that um, there's there's a lot to learn from it. Um, there were a lot of mistakes, and we can learn from those mistakes, and we can be better prepared for some of the things that 
that we haven't seen from them that we saw today. But they're good coaches. They're going to have a different plan. Or maybe they think they're just way better than us and they'll have the same plan. I don't know. But we have to be prepared for that and for anything else that they might bring. No more for you, Josh. Just, it never seemed like this team gave up, even when they scored. They, they just kept scoring. It seemed like this team was still running around trying to make tackles. How did you see the fight of this team just all the way through the end? Uh, that was gave me gave me a little heart myself, seeing everyone still fighting through. You know, even after my big mistake, and everyone kind of stayed up. They were all still fighting through. It just means a lot to you know. Even when you make a mistake, you turn around. You turn around. You got ten other guys on the field. They're all, you know, still fighting. They all still believe in you, so it means a lot.